Well, good morning, everyone. Usually I'm saying evening, but this morning we're going up to Scandia, Minnesota, and we're going to sit down and talk with Joe Valento a little bit. Joe, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. You know, um, we're a little, we're an hour before you, so I got to, to sleep in a little bit longer than you did. But, but Joe, let's get right to us. We've only got like a five minute segment here. But, you know, in 2023, you kind of took the year off um, after coming off of the Cars Tour series with, with DGR. Explain to us a little bit what went on in 2022, and uh, then we'll get into your comeback in 2023. Yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> the winter of 2022, uh, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease. Uh, right over our spring break, actually, I was laid up for about two weeks in the hospital. I'd gotten really sick. Um, and we had always kind of wondered if I had this kind of disease lingering. Uh, I've always had a little bit of digestion problems, but um, now we see, obviously, it got uh, a little bit more severe than what we thought it was. And uh, so I got laid up for a while and just really spent the whole spring and into summer recovering and just recouping and getting healthy again so that I can come back this next season in full swing. And boy, am I excited to get back behind the wheel of something. It's kind of tough. I mean, when you're used to being in a race car every couple of weeks and then you just literally have to step away from it. Um, what did you miss the most about not being behind the wheel? Yeah, um, it's it's tough because there's so many things like the – I. I Really, I miss the environment and the people around in the racing industry and just going to the track and um, uh, just being with the people that, that I love and being able to go out and um, go to the track and feel accomplished. Uh, I could say that I miss the thrill racing or just being on the track too, but really it's just it's just being in that environment. It, it's such a good environment at the racetrack and it's usually really uplifting and, and just positive all the way around. Well, it is a big change because you started quarter midget racing when you were how old? Yeah, eight years old, yep. Eight years old. So eight years old to basically, what, 17, you were constantly doing some sort of racing and then just to kind of have to step back a little bit from it um, had to be very tough. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely tough. It's, it's, uh, it was weird because it's like every weekend now I have open, it's just kind of wide open. Uh, I took up golf uh, a little bit. I've been going golfing pretty much every week, which I had enjoyed, but definitely, definitely feels weird not going to the racetrack every weekend. All right. So what are your plans for 2023 then? Yeah. So for 2023, we're planning to move back to Wisconsin, um, running in the Midwest Tour uh, Super Late Model with Kelly Byers Racing. So you and Kelly have quite the relationship. I think that's that that special bond that gets created between a driver and in this case, car owner, crew chief and ex driver, a very accomplished person. Um, talk just a little bit about that as we kind of wind this interview down. Yeah. So, I mean, I've mentioned it before, obviously there's, there's a, there's a relationship that Kelly and I have that's different than most and I'm not, I don't know exactly why that is. I don't know if it's because our ages meet a little bit better. He's not, um, he's a little bit younger, so maybe he understands me better. I think our attitudes are really similar. Uh, we're both pretty quiet people, but, um, you know, when we say stuff, it generally comes off as, as you know, not goofy or just fairly smart, smart sounding, professional sounding. And I think uh, along with that, we just think alike so that when we're at the racetrack, I get out of the car and say something. He's like, yeah, that's exactly what I thought too. Or I want to do this adjustment. He's like, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. So there's just, there's that relationship there and that bond where things just flow so nicely and it just works well together. You know, I think that comes back to one word, respect. You've got respect for him, the accomplishments that he's made, what he's been able to do. And then I feel like it it's in reverse too. He has a lot of respect that you that he knows you're going to make good decisions. I know conversations that I've had, you know, with Kelly is that, you know, Joe listens, he gives good feedback and 
the biggest thing, you know, he doesn't tear stuff up. Yeah, yeah, that's, I mean, that's good all the way around, right? It makes makes me happy, it makes him happy, it makes everyone happy. So, yeah, I agree, respect is, is a big thing, and I think both of us respect each other a lot. I respect the, the time and effort that he puts into the car, so I go out and not try to tear it up, right? Well, somebody's got to put it back together, and I think the happiest person of that is probably somebody in the other room, like your dad, who has to be responsible for the crash clause. He's probably got this big smile on his face. Well, Joe, exactly. I'll tell you what, I really appreciate you spending some time with us this year, or this morning, I should say. And I just want to wish you the best of luck in 2023. And um, we're going to connect a little bit later, you know, once we get into the season, will you come back and, and give us an update on where you're at? For sure. I appreciate it very much. Thank you, sir. All right, there you have it, Joe Valento, Scandia, Minnesota, making a comeback in 2023.